Lean thinking can be traced back to the 16th century. At that time, the Venetian arsenal, based in Venice, Italy, started to use an assembly line when manufacturing boats. This could be the first historical example of flow production, which is an important concept of lean thinking. Many centuries later, in 1908, the famous car manufacturer Henry Ford introduced the Model T, a modular car which was built using interchangeable parts. This innovation enabled Ford to pioneer flow production in his Highland Park plant in 1913. By placing fabrication equipment in process sequence, the Ford Motor Company was able to produce cars at a much faster, more effective and efficient rate, and use a moving assembly line. In 1926, Henry Ford added product variety to the manufacturing process and introduced the term mass production. Ford was able to automate the flow of materials through miles of conveyor belts and the final assembly line was rolled out to 50 more manufacturing plants around the world. During the 1930s, W. Edwards Deming created a process of undertaking continuous improvement, commonly known as the Plan, Do, Check, Act PDCA, cycle. After World War II, Deming was able to teach the PDCA cycle, the value of statistics and other quality improvement methods to Japanese businesses. Through this, Deming made a significant contribution to Japan's later reputation for innovative, high-quality products and its economic power was born out of that. Throughout the 1960s, the Toyota Motor Company gradually developed a management system based on lean principles. Taichi Ono, led the process of turning the Toyota production system into an integrated framework with a focus on problem solving, leadership, production operations, supplier collaboration, product and process development, and customer support. Ono developed a new perspective on just-in-time production when he visited the United States in 1956. He went to visit US automobile plants, but was actually really impressed by his encounter with US supermarkets. At that time, Japan did not yet have many self-service stores. Ono marvelled at the strong customer focus and the way the supermarkets supplied merchandise in a simple, efficient and timely manner. It was a format that was driven by customer demand and not production. In 1990, the term lean was coined in Jim Womack's book The Machine That Changed the World. Womack and his co-authors wrote an explanation of the fulfillment, product design, supplier management, customer support and global management system pioneered by the best Japanese companies. Backed up through exhaustive evidence, the book clearly demonstrated the competitive superiority of the Japanese system when compared to the European and North American auto industry. Whilst lean thinking originally came from the realm of manufacturing, it has since been proven to work in the service sector as well. Over the last 40 years, Lean has been used by businesses and public sector organisations to develop their services from a customer perspective and reduce running costs. In the last 10 years, central government and the NHS have successfully employed Lean across many departments and organisations in order to simplify work processes and structures. The Royal Hospital Bolton is an excellent example of a place where Lean has been successful as they have had 3,700 members of staff directly involved in over 400 improvement events. Another great example is the Department for Work and Pensions, DWP, where the application of lean principles led to a 20% improvement for a variety of performance indicators. In addition, staff and unions are reporting positive improvements in culture and working environments.